we love to play around in boats on the stream at the bottom of our garden and sometimes we see some tiny little fish. They're not really worth bothering fishing and trying to catch, uh, but I wonder whether you've ever been fishing. It's really good fun, isn't it, seeing what you can catch. Now, you might remember that quite a few of Jesus' friends, the disciples, were fishermen. They would have had a proper fishing boat and they loved to go fishing. But that was before they met Jesus. Once they met Jesus, they were so amazed by who he was that they left their fishing boats and their nets to follow him and spend time with him. But now he's died, although they've seen him again a few times since he's come back to life, he's not with them all the time. And it was maybe on one of those days where they were wondering, well, where is Jesus? What do we do now? That Peter said to his friends, let's go fishing. And they thought, oh, what a great idea. So Peter and six of the other disciples got into their fishing boat on the Sea of Galilee and went out fishing. It was night time. That was when they often went fishing because that was when it was easiest to catch the fish. And after a long night out on the water, they hadn't caught anything. It must have been a real disappointment for them. They were proper professional fishermen after all. They were used to catching fish. And maybe they were hungry actually, they just wanted something to eat. As they headed back towards the shore, they could see a man in the distance on the beach and he called out to them. Friends, have you caught any fish? And they shouted back, no, we haven't. And he said, try putting your net in the water on the other side, on the right side of the boat. If you do that, you will catch some fish do you know that was a strange thing to say how would he know that but maybe it was something about the tone of voice the way he said it they thought well let's try let's put our net into the water on the right side of the boat and they flung the net in and wow it filled up with fish so many fish that it was really heavy and they were struggling to pull it back into the boat this net's a bit useless it's full of holes that will never catch anything but they caught so many fish, the nets were bulging. As they looked at the man on the shore, amazed at what had happened, John suddenly realised it was Jesus. And John said to Peter, Peter, it's Jesus. And Peter was so amazed and so excited to see Jesus. He leapt out of the boat and he splashed through the water back to the beach to go and see Jesus. You know, I think this is such a lovely story and there are so many things we can realise about uh, Jesus from this story and I want us to think just about three of those things. Firstly, it tells us that Jesus was able to do amazing miracles because he was there with God right back at the beginning when God created the world. The Bible tells us that Jesus was there and that Jesus helped in creating everything, including the fish. So it would have been easy for Jesus to miraculously create some more fish right at the exact moment that the fishermen put their net into the water. The second thing I want us to think about today is that when the fishermen listened to Jesus's command to put the net into the water on the right side of the boat, they still wouldn't have caught anything if they'd just listened to him, but not done it. My net's not going to catch anything sitting here on the side of the boat and their nets wouldn't have done either. When Jesus tells us something, we have to listen to him, but we also then have to actually do what he asks us to do. And that leads us on to our third point. When we do what Jesus says, he promises to bless us abundantly. That means he'll give us so much more than we could ever hope for or imagine. Now the Bible tells us that's because Jesus loves us an awful, awful lot and he wants us to be happy. In fact, Jesus knows what we need and he wants to give us what we need, but more than that, he wants to give us so many blessings that we can truly be happy and enjoy our lives and feel the love that he has for us. Just like Peter, and his friends did that day. You know, they caught so many fish. It wasn't just a few enough for them to, to have a tasty food. It, the Bible says they caught 153 
big fish, not little fish, but big fish. 153 of them between seven fishermen. That would have made a really big feast for them. So the challenge for us this week as we remember this story as we go through our, our day to day life is to think first of all if we listen to Jesus by reading the Bible or doing uh, learning about Jesus in our RE lessons at school if we listen to him are we going to then do what he says and when we do what he says are we going to look out for those wonderful amazing blessings that he promises to give us each day.